Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Office says it had struck a property in Henderson, composes Bevan Hurley. Welcome viewers to my channel, please subscribe, like my video and turn on notifications so you don't miss our next update. 27 years after Tupac Shakur was gunned down in a hit-and-run assault on the Las Vegas Strip, a supposed posse pioneer was captured on the 29th of September and accused of the hip bounce legend's homicide. As per the Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Division, Dwayne, Keith D., Davis was the head of a plot by the Southside Compton Crips posse to kill Tupac, after the rapper and his company battled an individual from the pack following a Mike Tyson battle on 7 September 1996. Dwayne Davis was the shot guest for this gathering of people that serious this wrongdoing, murder Lt. Jason Johansson said during a public interview after the capture. The strategy that was carried out was orchestrated by him. Police said Mr. Davis, who has not yet entered a supplication, and three others pulled close by Tupac in a white Cadillac later on 7 September. Somebody inside the vehicle started shooting at the BMW where the rapper was sitting. Sooner or later in time, as they were in the white Cadillac, Mr. Davis took the weapon that he had gotten and given it to travelers in the back seat of the vehicle, the police official proceeded. That all changed in 2018, when Mr. Davis started talking openly about his part in the shooting, and his version of what happened was very similar to what the police said. This case was revitalized as extra data became known connected with his crime, particularly Dwayne Davis's own admissions to his contribution in this murder he gave to various news sources, Lt. Johansson said. Tupac took a sporadic action and started to arrive at down underneath his seat, Mr. Davis writes in the book. It was the solitary time in my life that I could connect with the police order, keep your hands where I can see them. All things being equal, Pac took out a lash, and that is the point at which the firecrackers began. One of my folks from the secondary lounge snatched the Glock and began busting back. The arrest comes after a police raid on Mr. Davis's house on Monday, July 17, in Henderson, a city 15 miles southeast of the gambling mecca. Despite the fact that police have never made a capture beforehand, a 2002 examination by Los Angeles Times columnist Thro Phillips embroiled a few group in the killing, including Shakur's hip-jump rival Christopher Wallace, better realized by his stage name Famous Large. At the hour of his passing in September 1996 matured 25, Shakur was one of the most popular hip-jump stars in the world. Laysane area evildoers was brought into the world in East Harlem, New York, in 1971, the child of dynamic individuals from the Dark Jaguars. He was renamed Tupac Amaru Shakur, taking his mom's original surname, at one years old. According to a fan site, he began recording music under the stage name MC New York in 1988 when his family moved to Marin City, California. The widely praised debut zeroed in on subjects of posse brutality and police defilement, drawing a reproach from that point VP Dan Quayle, as per an authority history. Shakur had various disagreements with police. In 1993, he was accused of exasperated attack for the shootings of two off-the-clock cops in Atlanta. The charges were subsequently dropped, and Shakur settled common claims with the two officials. He and two companions were trapped at Quad Studios in Times Square in November 1994, with Shakur being shot multiple times in the wake of attempting to ward off the aggressors. He would later guarantee in a meeting that he had been set up via Sean Coombs, also called Puff Daddy, and the famous Enormous. The resulting cases and counterclaims started the harsh East Coast-West Coast hip-jump Coast hip fight. In December 1994, Shakur was indicted for first-degree sexual maltreatment and later condemned to year and a half to 4.5 years in jail. On 7 September 1996, Shakur went to a boxing session between his companion Mike Tyson and Bruce Sheldon at the MGM Stupendous Lodging in Las Vegas. After the battle, Shakur went after Los Angeles Crip gangster Orlando Anderson in the entryway of the...